Wow, let me tell you guys. I have never been a morning person, like, ever in my entire freaking life. But seriously, like, thank God I don't have to wake up every day at this hour. Oh, my God. It's about 6.51. It hasn't even freaking hit 7. <laughs> the streets are quite quiet. People are just, like, getting up and moving around town. And literally, I'm, like, so... <laughs> grateful that I don't have to do this every day because I mean let's like before I became an Herbalife distributor and like you know basically have my own freedom to like work when I want and all that jazz like I used to wake up at like I swear 5 a.m. and like get ready to go work in like the Denver Colorado International Airport and like I did like a job that I made really crazy money but I cannot believe I used to do that. Like, we used to be at the airport by, like, 7 selling stuff to people. And, god damn, I don't think I'll ever do that. Even before that, I worked at, like, General Atomics Aeronautical Systems, which I was, like, one of those, like, desk job people. I had a really, like, important job. Wow, hold on. It's very hot. I had, like, one of those, like career jobs, corporate jobs that everyone was like, oh my god, how did you get this job? Blah, blah, blah. Shma, shma. I remember I used to wake up at 5 a.m. to go to freaking yoga to get my workout in. Like, core power yoga, like sweaty yoga class for our rush home. Get a shower. Drive to work. Which, yeah, I had like a pretty nice car, which that was kind of fun. But like, Come on, obviously you made car payments. Like it was an Audi S3. I can insert a picture maybe. And seriously, sit at work for like nine hours. I used to be there from like 8 a.m. I don't know, 6, 7, maybe 7, 8 a.m. to like 4 or 5 p.m. And like you would kind of, you could kind of change your hours, but like you had to make sure to get in like nine hours a day. And it was just so brutal. Like I'm telling you guys, if you could ever... Um, like be a brand ambassador or do multi-level marketing like holler at your girl I can like give you guys advice because I will never go back to like a full-time job <laughs> especially being pregnant like that's like the moral of the story is that like I don't know how people like my mom worked a full-time job like her whole pregnancy both pregnancies and like you know only had a few weeks off when she gave birth and like went back to work I just don't know how people do it so if you're one of those people props to you because I seriously I just yeah it's like what is life you know like waking up in these hours I always tell myself don't worry you can always take a nap or you can you know it's just like it's it's te temporary it's not something you have to do five days a week but wow, the trauma that comes along with this is like totally one of those things that I'm like, wow, I can't believe I used to do this five days a week, like all my life. So yeah, that's like Taylor's TED Talk for this morning and let's go get this appointment done. Like the sun is rising, you guys. All right, we have arrived to our destination. I'm so proud of myself. Thank gosh I can figure this out because usually Donna's here. I have everything. I have my purse. I have my water. I have my papers. I have my crazy freaking bump in this dress. I feel huge. Six months is no joke. I'm waddling like a pregnant woman. Oh my gosh. And this morning I didn't have my usual shake with all the fruit because I know I'm about to drink a bunch of sugar. So I had some rice crackers and peanut butter. Wish us luck. There's no way I'm doing that in this hour. Hello. Oh, I hope it's 4 Oh my god, it's so hot in here. Okay, my first urine test. Wish me luck. Here's the famous sugar drink. 
I have to drink it within five minutes and wait an hour. And I can't even drink water after that. So let's take a drink of water. Cheers. <laughs> Alrighty, you guys, we survived. We survived. Oof, which direction? Maybe I should go this way. It looks very traffic here over there. We survived the glucose drink test. Like, come on, man. This is like, I feel so accomplished. I got my blood test. Shaky bang. Look, I used to be super bad with needles, but I was like, dude, you freaking pregnant. You need to, you're going to be giving birth. You got to give up on that shit. But anywho, back to the glucose test. Oh, oh. it went okay. I felt fine. Everything was uh, good. I sat there for a freaking hour. No one had to tell me how to do that, but what if skis, it went by fast and I did my blood pressure and I weighed myself and all that stuff. So everything is looking good nothing to worry I'll get my results for the glucose and the urine test like tonight I love the health system here first of all it's affordable and second um, you get all your results on an app which is so convenient and it's so fast like you get it right away that guy didn't even look um, I'm gonna go reward myself with a bagel with cream cheese. I'm gonna go to our village market and grab that. But before we grab a bagel with cream cheese, I'm gonna check the ponies. You guys come with me to check the ponies, but I'm very proud of myself. Edan was like, I'll come with you. And like, he's been so supportive, like my partner, if you're new here. Um, he's been so supportive with everything. And like, he's always there for me. And if I told him I needed him to come, I would have told him to come, but for some reason, neither of us slept last night. There was like this mosquito that kept eating us and he was so tired this morning. I was like, don't worry. I I'm fine. Like I, I feel confident and comfortable to go and do it. I mean, he has made me feel so much more comfortable with like doing, um, blood tests and stuff. I don't know here. They do it so much better than America. I don't know what they'd be doing, but they'd be doing something because like my experience I've become so much more confident with that and then drinking a sugary drink I was expecting it to be so much more syrupy and like really that bad but I don't know if it's the American blood in me but I was like this is not that sugary at all like it was not that big of a deal obviously I can pee in a cup by myself and yeah blood pressure no problem that was my first time doing my blood pressure my whole pregnancy so thank god I did that it was like a 111 73 I don't even know how you explain it but there you go so let's go see the ponies and I cannot wait to take a nap already today I that 7 a or that 6 a.m. rise no sleep last night uh 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 girl you girl taking a nap today gave them some food they're looking good cuties Oh yeah. Just got back from the grocery store and Bonnie is snoozing like a little snoozer. So I might as well give you guys a little grocery haul of what I get when I'm pregnant. Here's some frozen wild berries, pineapple, strawberries, mango, blueberries. We also have bananas in our morning shake. Then we also have milk, yogurt, cottage cheese, and regular cheese. We also have sliced cheese, eggs arugula and lettuce cucumbers which we love these little cucumbers tomato banana and then of course i had to grab some lemon and apples dates and pregnancy craving here i just had to get some tricks again this is a healthy pregnancy food haul but 
you just have to have a little bit of goodies in there. So pretzels, rice crackers, little rice snack mix, tahini, tortillas, granola, and then I also love having the little Quaker oatmeal, and then a natural peanut butter, found a big one, which it's so hard to find big items in Israel. Always got pasta on deck, some honey and dark chocolate chips. I'm going to make some chocolate chip cookies for Shabbat dinner. We also needed some salt, and olive oil has gotten quite pricey here lately, but we only use olive oil. We don't use any canola oil. Again, it's just been like my biggest priority to get as much nutrients and good things for the baby. Um, we also love this apple concentrate, which is only made with apples, and also got some coconut. I've been adding ground flax seed and chia seeds to our morning shakes, just again, to give the baby as healthy nutrients as possible. Also some raw mixed nuts. And then for household items, we got um, the toilet cleaners, sponges, and like a toilet cleaning solution, and also um, some toothpicks, baby wipes, and toilet paper. Also got some like little utensil, new utensils. The ones, the wooden ones we have, I don't know about you guys, but they always get mold on them, so just refresh those. Um, all of this that I bought, just if you're curious of what it's like living abroad and spending money abroad, um, paper, cost around 800 shekels, which is around like $200. It's called the Safa Rofe. Now we are checking out a hospital where we're going to give birth. And the funniest part is, is that, oh, those are cool flowers. Is that this is where we removed my birth control. So where we remove my birth control, we bring a baby. <laughs> I'm gonna hear that today, probably a lot. Maybe just once more to tell my mom. <laughs> nice smelling flowers. So we're starting with the hotel that's next yeah, to the hospital. The so this is the entrance to the hotel, which is gated. This is the hotel. So as you can see, this is like the little eating area where you have like food, I guess, all the time. And then we will check out a room in the hotel. This is like what of the hotel rooms look like. So it's really nice. It has like a bed and then it also has like a little kitchenette area, patio, bathroom. And yeah, you can just basically stay here and opt if you want to have um, caretakers for your baby or not. And this might be something we're gonna do, but who knows? There's nothing permanent with our plan yet, but it looks pretty decent and convenient. Now we are headed to the hospital area where we're gonna see the labor and delivery room as well as the after stay room after you give birth. You have to stay there for at like at least 12 hours. This is like the main lobby. And then we're also gonna see the natural birth room which There's this is like my goal is to do a water birth um but again i know you can't plan anything pretty much in your pregnancy but this is like i guess the goal and i'm super excited for you to see what Here's like the natural the birthing room looks like um especially with the water birth and then this is our little care packet this is where you will basically dilate till five to six centimeters and this is like a regular birthing room um everything is a little bit different so it depends on what your plan is but this is the natural birthing room which this is like my main goal as you can see we're in a group but i just absolutely love the idea of this birthing room it looks more like a hotel you have a big bed and you have a your own bathroom which there is a shower toilet and everything like that and they have a lot of structures as you can see behind the, the light, tub there's like a rack where you can hang on and then there's also like some really nice soothing light. lights they also have like the um different They're ways you can you know be in labor there's also like those things hanging from the this is also another version of a birthing room and then after you give birth this is the room that you go to um you have to stay in here for 12 hours and be monitored and then you can go to the hotel and now we're at a concert Cheese. 
Oh, I'm not. 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 Oh, I'm not.